Hello guys, it's Luke here, and this is a, uh, a, what do I call it? It's a general update slash look at my new camera video. Yeah. So, here we have this camera I went and picked up today, which you can hardly see. Not a great sign. Not for this flip camera anyway. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, the Canon Legria HFM307. Show you the box now. Uh, I was going to pick up a Sony, a Sony Handycam, because uh, this is a camera here that I've had for to know on about six years now. Got it for my 18th birthday, and it's just I love it. It's a great, great camera. It's a mini DV camera, and uh, yeah, just fantastic. And already. Unfortunately, the touchscreen on this six-year-old camera is a lot more responsive than the one on this one I have. Uh, but yeah, this camera's great. It's been the best camera I've ever had. And I just wanted to upgrade it in HD and just have a Sony Handycam in HD because I know what I'm getting and so on. Uh, and I didn't want to spend too much. I kind of had a cap on how much I wanted to spend. And the Sony one that I wanted to get, they didn't have and they don't have it anywhere. And I didn't really want to order it online and wait till next week to get it. I got paid today and I felt like getting it today. I was looking at videos last night and I was really up for getting one. And the reason I want to get one is because just because I want a better camera than this flip camera. I want a proper camera, a high definition camera, um, just to film stuff, you know, uh, family holidays, general stuff, uh, along with stuff for this channel as well. And uh, I never like how most things look on this flip camera, especially in this room. I mean, this camera isn't going to be able to change the bad lighting I have in this room because of that lamp over there, because our light doesn't work, but, you know, uh, but this is going to be great outdoors and, and so on, hopefully. Um, and the Sony one was actually a lot smaller than this one, and the strap was like, like that, it was just like, not even worth having, it was so flimsy. This one's got a nice strap on it, it's, it's a lot bulky, it feels like it's worth the money, if you know what I mean, oh, that sounds strange. Um, it's currently charging now. I've tested it out a bit and um, I'm still kind of getting to grips with the way the video is filmed and transferring it and encoding it and stuff. I think I found a good um, a good codec to um, uh, edit videos with it and stuff already. I mean, this is the quickest I've ever got to grips with something uh, big that I've bought and kind of really liked it straight away. Uh, it's got some nice kind of um, preset video features, uh, there's like a, a cinema mode which shoots in 25 frames per second and it looks really good. Uh, it's a, the lighting's a lot lower but it looks a lot better than um, just normal filming kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, th hopefully this is going to be well worth the money. Um, a lot of uh, things in the box. I won't show you everything because it's all just mainly those little plastic bags and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, oh, I also bought, while I was in town I bought some Blu-rays. Just a few. I mean I'm not spending much this month at all, I'm just paying off my um, my holiday, well, I say, I can't believe I just called it my holiday, um, uh, paying off the, um, going to my dad's wedding, which is pretty much a holiday, it's in Greece, it's for a week, uh, or a Greek island, so um, I haven't got much money, uh, but I actually got a, a staff bonus this month, we all got a 15% bonus, and um, because I haven't taken all of my holiday days this year, um, about six of the days I worked this month, I got paid double for, because um, I, I just I, was, I felt like it was pointless to take twelve days off. Um, I've taken this week off, but um, the, the rest of the days I just got paid double for. So uh, I got about two hundred pound extra, which almost paid for this <laughs> completely. Um, I also got with this a SanDisk Extreme HD um, memory card, for, which was eight gigabytes. Which will be right for now. Um, I, I decided to get the more expensive one because it was tailor made for HD video, so hopefully that'll uh, turn out to be pretty good. Um, I'll see what I'll do. I'll show you the Blu rays. With this, I will now transfer over to this and hopefully this will work. This experiment. And it's going to be weird trying to get used to using this to film stuff for YouTube. And I will be doing it a lot, hopefully. Um, but this flip cam here will um, still be used. I'll use it for things when, you know, I don't want to take this camera out and stuff uh, and whatever. So yeah, let's try and uh, transfer over. 
and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> no, it's a bit lower, but um, this is actually the lowest setting of quality on the camera. It goes up about five different settings to um, full HD, blah blah blah, 1080p. Uh, so I'm just going to test out this and see how good the lowest quality setting is, just you know, just for testing purposes, I guess. So already it feels and looks a lot better. You can see how bad my facial hair is on this, which I'll keep the camera away from. So let's have a look over here. Um, I'll, I'll show you the cinema mode. Um, one thing about this, this camera is I'll be using this uh, uh, remote, I don't know why it took me so long to say it, um, to go on the menu because the touch screen is really unresponsive, which is not good, but at least this controller uh, works. Uh, I can actually switch over while I'm recording, so what I'll do is I'll just start recording again. So there we go, as you can see it is a lot darker. Um, but things are not clearer, but it just seems like the quality is a lot better. Um, try and put the light on here. Maybe this will uh, make things look better. Okay, there's the light. So, what we have here is a hook. Wow, it's cool to do that without seeing it all go all blurred with a flip camera. You could never get any detail in on it. So yeah, this was the... Uh... Sorry, I'm just <laughs> testing out. Um, so this was in a 2 for 15 deal. It is Hook. Love this film, and I didn't even know it was out on Blu-ray, so uh, that was cool. I picked that up along with Boys in the Hood. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, you know the cast: Ice Cube, Cuba Gooding Jr., Lawrence Fishburne. That sells it for me. Of course, this is part of the Sony Collector's Editions, which I'm obsessed with. So I'm sure you know about that if you watch my channel. And this is number seven in the collection. So I'm looking forward to watching this. This is the 20th anniversary edition. I also picked up a new film, Tyrannosaur. It's Paddy Considine's uh, directorial debut. I'm looking forward to watching this film. I hear that it's very uh, depressing and uh, dark and <clears throat> and so on. But um, I've heard very good things about it, especially from Simon Pegg on his Twitter account. He really raves about this film, so... I have to get used to using my hands, because I'm looking at the screen, and with a flip camera, the screen is right behind the lens, so I need to kind of... <laughs> Train my finger to go across to the right a bit. Uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, the Steelbook edition. I will uh, try and make a, maybe a video on this showing you uh, the full Steelbook, but I'm um, looking forward to watching. See, I'm, I'm filming over there. So, uh, yeah, it's a really nice Steelbook by the looks of it. And uh, I can't wait to watch this film. Also picked up from town some Men <laughs> Mendel, I was going to say Mendel, Kendall Mint Cake. I love this stuff. Been looking for it for years, and there's finally a sweet shop that does it in town. So, yeah, Let's see if <clears throat> how this will look in cinema mode with the light on. <laughs> Do not want to pull it off. It's see, it's still plugged in, so the cable's tugging at it. Um, I might have to sit back or maybe level it up a bit if I want to do these videos. Yeah, so hopefully this looks good. Um, I'll be probably putting up a few test videos just for my kind of, just for me to look at it and stuff. Maybe just video my cats or something. So you'll probably see them in the following days. And uh, yeah, so this week off has been so far pretty good. But I've been doing stuff every all day, every day. Um, although I've been sleeping in a lot, which I do anyway. Um, but I went to a funeral on Wednesday. Uh, it was my great uncle, my granddad's brother. He was 85, uh, but it, you know it was a it was a great service. Um, he had all his his old um, army mates from. He was a he was a paratrooper in the 40s, and they were they all came in. They stood up with the flags, and they stood there with these huge like 10 foot poles with flags on them, throughout the whole service. You know, and I was having trouble standing up every five minutes. Uh, you know, standing still and reading you know the hymns and stuff. 
and they were there the whole time and they lowered the flags and there was a trumpet playing really moving really just beautifully done service and um yeah it was sad but um 85 you know <laughs> he really did um he uh lived a long and fun life so I, it was good to be there and to have that time off because otherwise I, w if I hadn't had this week off I wouldn't be able to go to the funeral which was um which would have been a shame so uh yeah I went to the cinema yesterday to see The Woman in Black which uh, was really annoying there was just teenagers packed to the rafters and they were just talking chattering texting shouting screaming giggling and just just talking during the film just no real whispering just just, just normal conversation so really hard to watch that film it was a pretty good film wasn't great or anything but um interesting to see what Dan Radcliffe is doing post Potter but I enjoyed it uh, my fiance was getting really angry about all the noise though and, um, but there's nothing we could do right really because we have an unlimited card so we couldn't go get a refund so but yeah uh, so we did that yesterday today we went out and bought this and went to Cardiff and <laughs> went out to Cardiff and um, yeah bought this and now I'm going to spend the next two days doing Sweet F.A. Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch some films and just relax um, so yeah I'm putting up some more videos I'm sure I'll be doing some epic film challenge reviews and and all sorts of stuff so thanks for watching hopefully this hasn't been too long me just fiddling around on my own uh, I'm not going to edit that much so apologies if you got this far uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon